Uh, good day, welcome today. Uh, it, it's new, it's in English, but uh, welcome to the iThinks Innovation Theater, where I'll be interviewing uh, Miles Buckhurst, who is responsible for the oil and gas industry and some chemical industry too at Jotun. Um, and this is a lineup to the CUI event we'll be hosting in September, where Miles will be give the, giving the, the keynote speech and he will share his views, his ideas, and his experience on this topic. Uh, for the plenary session before we go further to the breakouts. Miles, uh, I'll, I'll give the, the, the audience, I'll give the, the, the picture to you, if you can introduce yourself and give us your scope on CUI specifics. Okay, thank you very much, Mark. Um, yeah, my name is Miles Buckers, as Mark, Mark said, and I'm responsible for oil and gas and chemicals onshore for supplying paints and coatings into to this business uh, from Yotun. Um, my background is as a polymer chemist, so I'm very much focused on, on paint and sometimes, of course, that's not the same focus as you might have because you might very well be more materials engineers, chemical engineers, process engineers. We have a different take on it, but we all have the same goal, which is to, to get down to stopping corrosion and keeping the operations going. Um, so I think this sort of session that's going to happen with, with iTanks in September is going to be very interesting opportunity to share knowledge and competence and experience throughout the industry. And I hope to bring to it something interesting in terms of how we see we can simplify the process and make it a more, um, shall we say, a smarter solution for operations. Because at the end of the day, operations are the only department that really counts because that's earning money. Mm -hmm. And are there uh, a lot of innovations in this area? Uh, you say you want to simplify it, but it usually mm -hmm. means you have to increase the smartness of the materials or the engineering you use to create these materials. Are, are there lots of innovation in this area? Absolutely. I mean, we actually have to go back to the 70s and 80s to see the real origins of where the CUI, corrosion under insulation, which I'm going to be talking about, uh, started because we didn't do any real protection at that point. And we just thought hot pipes is great. We'll stay rust free. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And I'll talk about why we have CUI and these things and what kind of solutions are out there today. And these innovations that we've made over the last say 10 to 15 years, there's been a lot of innovations throughout the industry, how to tackle CUI, all from things of how to get rid of the water that causes some of the corrosion and how to stop the corrosion should there be moisture in there, which is our paints and coatings. So yes, indeed, there's lots of different new ways of tackling it. Um, we are of the opinion in, in Joden and myself especially, that simple is usually better. Hmm. Because every time we go down the electronics route, as we've all learned over the last few months, working offline in at home, all sorts of electronics, brilliant actually, but they go wrong. And we've experienced how they can go wrong. And at that moment, that's a problem. Um, whereas if we can simplify it down to basic levels of um, using good, smart technology that's in the can, if you like, and apply that, and you know it's going to work, that's got to be the best way to go. OK. OK. Well, that's a great introduction. You, you've made me curious for your keynote in September. Um, anything you'd like to add to, uh, to give a shout out for people to come to the event? Well, I think I think what the main thing is that the, the actual my keynote is just to get people started, right? And the actual present the, the actual event is about discussion, and that's bringing experiences. Because you know I can say what I like. I'm wearing a jacket today. You know I will do the same on the event, and people start to get skeptical. What's this guy going to say? Because he's going to talk about selling. Actually, that's not the intention of this type of event. This type of event is all about trying to find the right solutions for those facilities, for that operation, for those people involved. And I think that that sharing of knowledge brings us further forward than a sales presentation. So if I can just add to that also, that the key notes talk is to try to avoid selling and talk about what is the industry doing from my perspective, which is, okay, it's in the paint industry, but also look at the different kinds of solutions that are out there that have pros and cons. Sometimes things that I can't provide will actually be the better solution in that in that particular circumstance. And I think that we're about improving the industry, not about 
selling products so i think this is often sales paint paint men you know we're seen as set car salesmen shall we say that okay and i like to avoid that <laughs> okay well it's it's totally in line with what we like to do with the events what we like to do with i tanks so uh let's hope there will be a lot of visitors lots of questions lots of experiences and that we can create new values by combining these and i'm looking forward to seeing you in september thank you very much i'm looking forward to it too